Oh man, I am super excited for this game. We have the legend in the house. Heels to Tonic Fortress in the red. Playing, of course, as the Tootins. My, my brother told me to do that. I, I really think it's kind of lame and I think it's kind of top 90 but whatever. Tootins for Teutonic Fortress. And in the blue, we have Chuck1785 playing as the Britons. Now, before I asked Teutonic Fortress if he could do his strategy where the opponent was playing with archers. And sure enough, he delivered. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what else to say. I'm just so excited for this game to play out. I am going to fast forward just a little bit. Uh, I know Teutonic Fortress's games tend to go on a little bit longer than usual. Did get his sheep there. And if you haven't seen this strategy already, it is absolutely <laughs> fantastic. I, I love how people can just play the game so differently and enjoy the way they play. What is important though is how is Blue going to play this? How is Chuck going to play this? Is he going to play this aggressively or oh nice board timing. Definitely has a build order in mind and if you saw the last video you know that Teutonic Fortress does not go for any army in feudal and even in castle age he really waits till imp at least that's what happened in the last video i have no idea what's gonna happen in this one um i tried to strap myself and uh i don't know if you saw it online i don't want you to, to watch that but it was a monumental failure it is not easy to do look at this nice little palisade wall around the stone and let's see which Okay, they go for this wood line, uh, and he's probably going to build a tower on this as well as the stone. At least that's what he did last time. Yep, we see a nice tower over here. Now, the thing that I'm curious about is, could you place Archer say like right here to be annoying? And what do you what do you do against that in Teutonic Fortress's position? Another nice tower over here that covers the wood line very, very nicely. Look at that. Look at that. That's some good boy fun right there. That is some T90 wholesomeness. Good luck. Have fun. Strap yourself in because we are about to have some fun. And it looks like our Britain's player, Chuck, has already gotten his archers ready and he is ready to invade his base overall looks quite good he does have two idols over here but overall look at this i love this six on wood down here and four on wood down here very nice build order definitely has a plan uh, a little unfortunate that these two villagers are idle but hey what can you do and here go the archers what can they accomplish? Also, it might be an overchop here at some point. I wonder if Teutonic Fortress is going to notice that. Let's fast forward just a little bit. Just because I know how these uh, games tend to play out, he said that most of his games tend to be quite long, so we are going to skip through it just a little bit. And haha, -ha, guess what? I already have a tower up, and these archers have to run away. Can you get one? No, not quite. And where are they going to hit now? Blacksmith Market, just to make it more difficult to get into the wood line. Uh, when I talked to Teutonic Fortress about this strategy, he told me it's all about minimizing the amount of resources that you need to spend. And I guess I was wrong. I guess these archers can't quite sit here comfortably. They have eight range, whereas the archers only have five range. So that tower is perfect. They get fletching on those archers, but where are you going to do damage? You have 10 archers, and they're basically doing nothing. Also, this is this is not low elo, by the way. This is about 1400-1400 uh, elo. Uh, I, I, I might stand corrected. Uh, it might even be a little bit higher than that, but I think it's in the 1400-1400 range. 
Uh, I'm sorry, Titanic Fortress, if you're a higher ELO, please let me know. That is very interesting to me. So we do have those 12 archers at this point just standing idle. And Blue is continuously pumping out archers and he can't really do anything with them. Uh, over here, this is still open, but it doesn't matter that Blue's base is quite open because Teutonic Fortress, he's not going to be pushing forward anytime soon. He likes to play his game the way he likes to play it. Now, I, I will say this is the first time that I've seen him build two towers rather than one, but I think he kind of needed to just to make sure that those archers would not be able to pick off villagers on his wood line. I'm going to fast forward just a little bit. And it looks like Teutonic Fortress is going to be up to Castle Age sooner. He did not invest anything in military. And guess what's going to happen? Come on, do it. Do it. I wonder where he's going. Okay, I think that's a good play. Uh, when I did it, it uh, definitely did not work out very well because I was not close enough to my main gold nor my stone. And look at this. Beautiful, <laughs> absolutely wonderful. I love this so much. He has the same strat every single time, and he plays it so well. Uh, those villagers do need to go and hide, and he's in it for the long haul. Uh, that is going to be really annoying to get that castle up. And Blue must be feeling kind of good about himself. He has gotten some vil kills. The castle is a defensive castle, it's not going to be anywhere near him. And... Yeah, he's just harassing. I think I would have harassed this a little bit longer, but hey, what can you do? And look at this! Look at the symmetry of these town centers. We have a three town center boom right up... Four town center boom right off the bat. He needs that stone. He needs that wood to be safe. But other than that... Everything is protected within the Teutonic Fortress. And what's he building in there? Oh, he just had some bills in there for safekeeping. And now all that wood that he has, he's going to convert into farms, getting eco upgrades like crazy. And what do you do in blue situation? You, you, you can't really do damage with your archer rush. Um, you don't really need to worry about him coming forward. Because what's he going to build from his castle? Teutonic Knights at this point? I don't know. Blue also a lot later to uh, Castle Age. I think he wanted to play this very aggressively and end it with his archer build. But that didn't quite happen. And now all of a sudden, Teutonic Fortress, he is booming. He is absolutely booming. Way more than our Britain's player, Chuck. Chuck Norris, and I just love watching this, these villagers are out of stone, I love watching this because uh, it kind of looks like an ant farm, they're just collecting, 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 and he doesn't even need to build uh, lumber camps or anything in that nature because, ooh, here come the archers, ooh, scary, <laughs> they came out of nowhere on triple speed. I was like, holy moly. I almost just poop lord myself. Woo! And I like this edition. This is something that I definitely did not do when I was uh, playing. And that was building those siege workshops to protect myself against a massive horde of archers. And it does look like Blue wants to push at this time. It might be a little bit tricky because... You have those towers up. Uh, they have, let's see, no additional range upgrades. I wonder when he's going to get the range upgrades on those. So they have eight and these crossbowmen. They're no joke. Bring crossbowmen are no joke. They also have eight range. So that's tricky in itself. And Deadville, Deadville, Deadville. Wow. Insane. 32 crossbowmen. Uh, I think there's strategies too where people uh, camp and they just make longbowmen. I, I remember when I first started playing Age of Empires, that was something common that people used to do is they used to make 
longbowmen like crazy. They would boom up, kind of like Teutonic Fortress. Uh, not as beautiful, obviously, because back in the day, people did not know what they were doing. And they would simply build longbowmen because longbowmen outrange everything. And if you have enough of them, that's scary. We do have those two mangonels ready to go here. And it looks like Blue is building some rams. I don't think Blue can comfortably get this. Sorry, I don't think Teutonic Fortress can comfortably get this fortress. Can get this fortress. Can get this castle up. Uh, is getting some good value off of his mangoes. Gotta repair that though. Nice repairs. But that range is ridiculous. They outrange. Oh, nice shot. Oh, and that is a castle denied, or at least it should be, if blue steps on the gas a little bit. Yeah, a castle's denied for the time being, at least. And all of a sudden, blue is kind of getting back into this game. Uh, oh, oh, man! Oh, no! Oh, that is... Oh! Defending with the minimal amount of resources required. Teutonic Fortress does it best. I mean, he has two mangoes against 30-something crossbows. And the GG is called. That was it. That was the game. I can't believe it. The push didn't work. He tried to go with a whole bunch of crossbowmen. And it just got shut down. That was amazing. We didn't even see the full boom of the Tectonic Fortress. We didn't even see the healing Teutonic Square Formation consisting out of 29 Teutonic Knights, 20 Hand Cannoneers, and 11 Monks. I really hope we get to see that in the next video that Teutonic Fortress sent us, but wow, what a game. Absolutely shut his opponent down with very minimal resources. Three towers, two castles, three mangonels, that's it. <laughs> Meanwhile, we have six PCs, and look at this. It's like a mandala. It's a mandala made out of the ranges of all of these TCs. Very cool. Really enjoy this. Great job. And Chuck, I will say I really liked his build order. Uh, getting those archers out quick. Wanting to do some damage. But there was no damage to be had once, however. I think maybe he should have gone for a forward castle. Maybe some siege of his own. You really don't want to go rams. Uh, unless you think you're about to win the game. That's really a way to... Uh, end the game, and it did look like Teutonic Fortress's score was a lot higher because of that overboom. And just military, look at that 41 units killed, 10 units lost, really big hits on those mangonels. Economy boom, boom, boom. We like to boom. You don't need that much gold, you just need castles, you just need wood for farms and TCs, you just need food for villagers and that's it. A little bit of gold for Mangano here and there, uh, go up to castle obviously, but wow, what a game. Villager high of 97 for Teutonic Fortress against Blue's 54. And look at that timeline. Just no damage to be done, a little bit of damage, but boom those villagers right back. And <laughs> it's just so hilarious. I mean, I, I have to like squint to see Teutonic Fortress's military. And at the end, he did have a bunch of mangonels. But look at this steady increase. And then, boom! Three or two big shots, and it's all over. What a way to play the game. I like the passive play. He, he was never going to attack Chuck. Chuck ran into a wall. No. Chuck ran into a fortress. A Teutonic fortress. And done. Great job, both players. Really enjoyed watching that. Thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate all of your support. 
make sure that you check out Teutonic Fortress's first video. Uh, he is an absolute legend in my book. Who plays a game like this? And it works. I love it.